about a year ago, I did a video. What you meowing about? What? What is it? Oh, you just want me some rub? I'll give you some rubs. There you go. About a year ago, I, I did a video called an un uncomfortable conversation with my landlord. And I'm walking home and I'm telling you guys in great detail how I was behind in my rent. And the landlord was less than happy about it. And I told him, look, I needed I needed some extra time. And, you know, you, you're going to give me this extra week. And they ended up giving me the extra week and everything worked out. Today, I had another conversation with my landlord. But it was a complete 180 from the last time we did it. And, you know, to say we had a conversation might be a little unfair because we didn't actually talk. See, we don't talk on the phone very much. Usually, it's a lot of email correspondence back and forth. Now, if you're keeping up, I'm a little behind on my rent. You know, through no fault of my own, it's just the way unemployment pays me, the way it breaks down, is I'm always going to be late paying the rent. So... You know, it's no big deal. I, I email them. We stay in touch. What? Stop, stop whining. So, today I got an email out of the blue from, from my property manager. I like to say property manager instead of landlord because landlord just sounds like it's the lord of the land. It's like, no, it's you, you just you manage the property. You know, I got an email from them. They were like, hey, we're going to be issuing you a three-day notice to quit. Don't worry, it's just part of our procedure. We're still very much working with you. We just didn't want you to worry. And I just thought, wow, that was that was really nice. Like it was unnecessary, really. You would imagine that, you know, they deal with a lot of different people and you know, this isn't their only complex, so they didn't have to do that. But they went out of their way to let me know what was happening and I appreciated that. I immediately responded, let them know what was going on with me, and, and all was well. It's just, that is probably the one reason that makes it very difficult for me to want to move. Because if something were to go down right now in this complex, and they just say, hey, you know what? We're done. We, we, we not messing with you no more. Get out. They would have to give me 60 days. And in that 60 days, I, I just wouldn't pay rent. Like, you are, I already have the eviction on my record. Why would I give you money? Like, so that, the fact that we've been here since 2013, it's all, wow. We've been here a long time now. Almost five years. Wow. And it's because we've been here for so long that we have a relationship with our property managers. I mean, it's like we're not going out for tea and biscuits or anything. We're not, you know, we're not like super close or nothing. But we have a rapport with these people. And if I'm a little behind on my rent a week or so, you know, they, they tend to cut you some slack. And if they chose not to cut me some slack, I have that 60-day window as a buffer to make sure that all is well with my family. And 60 days is a long time for me to come up with something else. If we were to move, then it would be starting over somewhere else. And if something were to go drastically wrong, then we would only get the 30 days. And, you know, we wouldn't have this, this history that I have with these property managers now. And I think that history says a lot about us like I honestly I think we're the longest running tenants in this complex like everybody else who's been here has, has come and gone I mean I've seen people move in and the next month move out I've seen people who had been here before me long since pack up and leave so we've got a good rapport going here with these people and it's working out very well for us and you know I, I feel okay about it I was telling Asia yesterday or it might have been the day before, whatever, that um, what I would like to do is, if at all possible, probably around tax time, if, that, if an apartment is even available, I would like to switch apartments, preferably something with hardwood floors here in the complex. And if that's just not possible, you know, or if the rent decides to go up on us unexpectedly, then we'll just think about moving. 
you know, we'll just pack it up. Like, come the first of the year, I'm just going to go right back to work. All's going to be well. You'll see. Everything's going to work out just fine. And moving will definitely be a possibility. But, man, there's just so much history here. We've got so much history in this complex. And I would hate to walk away and try to start over and build a rapport with someone else, you know? But that that's that's it for me. Nothing else happening. I'm going to head in the room, kick it with my girl. We're going to watch a movie or something, see how the night goes.